national recording artist that God has anointed. And we understand that it's the anointing that destroys the yoke. We had the pleasure of hearing him at the Stellar Awards this year when the uh, announcers were in a session. And he certainly blessed my soul. Hailing from Lana, Maryland, we are so pleased to introduce to you Mr. Kevin LaVar. Welcome to a Sound Voice Live. Thank you for having me. You are so welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by and gracing us with your presence. We really, really do appreciate it. I appreciate the invitation. And I have to tell you that I am still basking from you singing about a heart that forgives yes. in Nashville at the Grand Ole Opera. We had a good time. You blessed yeah. us during the afternoon session. I really do appreciate your ministry. Tell everybody a little bit about who Kevin LeVar is. Well, actually, I was born and raised in Washington, D.C., and um, just a church boy, <laughs> you know. But, uh, you know, growing up, you get in those teenage years, and uh -huh. uh, the church was around you but not necessarily in you. Right. And uh, my 18th year of high school, I really committed myself to Christ and said, I'm going to live for you, you know, and whatever happens, happens. And, and God has just uh, blown my mind with okay. what he's done. And uh, he's opened up so many doors. The gift, I had no idea that he had in me the gift to play the piano. And started playing at age 20 after a man of God laid his hands on me at a, uh, during a Pentecost time. Uh, I saw him. I was on the piano, and uh, service hadn't started yet. And I was kind of, uh, always wanted to play the piano, but thought it was kind of difficult. And uh, the Lord just put it on my heart, you know, ask him to uh, anoint you to play. And I walked wow. up to him, and I said, you know, can you pray for me? And he didn't do it that day, but he saw me about a week later in noonday prayer and laid his hands on me. And he looked at me and said, watch out, because you're going to be playing. And about four months later, I was playing, just practicing on the piano, and people thought I'd been playing for years. So, yeah. you know, it, I'm 32 now, so it's been uh, about 12 years. Wow. And uh, God's been good. I need to call him, because I've Come always wanted to play, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, it was imparted to me, so I believe, you know, That's right. that it, it, it can be imparted. So we can pray. Uh, and right. just believe. Amen. We're going from there. How long have you been singing? Tell us how you got started um, and where, you know, how your music career has evolved. Okay, I started singing uh, in the choirs at Refreshing Springs Church of God in Christ in Riverdale, Maryland, and that's where I was born and raised. And pretty much, you know, just in the Sunshine Band, my first time I ever remember singing uh, was uh, Pastor John P. Key. He came to our church and he did a workshop for the young people. And uh, I was known for being the mischievous little uh, little rascal. <laughs> and so nobody pretty much expected you know, much from me except for uh, getting in trouble. And uh, he, he made me sing. We practiced and he made me sing. And uh, the presence of God just kind of just fell on me. And I just began to weep. And the whole church just was crying. And, and uh, that was the beginning of, uh, of all this. My godmother is Myrna Summers. And wow. my parents would travel with her. And she was a, a strong inspiration for me. And so as I got older, you know, 14, 15, she would put the mic in my hand as, as we traveled with her. And so she was the first person that inspired me wow. to sing. So It's, it's, it's funny. Wow. We talk about Pastor Key. And, <laughs> you know, I, I did not know. My wife used to sing. I've seen her sing a little bit here mm -hmm. dabbled there. She's like, oh, I used to sing. And uh, Pastor Key and them, I will sing with them. You know, it was like, yeah, whatever. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, <laughs> this is when we were dating. When I got married, um, phones started ringing. They were asking her to sing for people and back up, and she was singing in different places. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but he has been a blessing to a lot of people yeah. with his workshops. Yes. You know, and, and he, he, uh, he brings, you know, a, a different meaning to the workshop. Being in one of his workshops, just besides of what you experienced through the Holy Ghost, what did you learn to get you to this point? I was so young, to be honest with you. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was like seven years old. All I remember is crying on that Sunday morning. Um, but, uh, you know, I'll tell you one person that really uh, it sticks out. I've had several mentors kind of coming up that I can point to and say, you know what, he really deposited something in me. But there was a uh, young man by the name of uh, Steve Lawrence mm -hmm. who um, moved to uh, Texas, was at the Potter's House for several years. Uh, he was over the youth department pretty much uh, music wise and so for I think 10 years so whenever the youth choir sang he put a mic in my hand and to be honest with you back then I didn't understand why but uh, he saw something in me and you need people like that right. that can that can see something in you 
uh, beyond what you can see and say, I'm going to pull you to destiny. I'm going to push you because I see it in you, even when you don't see it in yourself. So I definitely uh, can accredit where I am to him as well. And again.